Hi, I'm Pastor Harley Wheeler with the Broadway United Methodist Church. We've been looking in these devotions from Ephesians chapter 3 where Paul is talking because he says in verse 14, For this reason I bow my knees before the Father. What does this saint pray for? What is the answer to that question? He's, he's telling us. And uh, his heart is, is pouring forth the words that are in our New Testament. And so I think it's important to see what does he pray for. And we've discussed several things. It says, but verse 17 says, So that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you being rooted and grounded in love. Now he says something very similar twice. Rooted in love and grounded in love. They could, he could easily have gotten away with just saying the one thing. Grounded in love is a powerful image. Uh, let's ask, what is the foundation of what you're doing? What is the basis that you, you, that you start with to make your decisions? Uh, what is the attitude that you express that sets, sets uh, the tone for the day? That, Paul says, should be something that's grounded in love. Its foundation is in love. What about being rooted in love? Well, that talks about, about a living presence and an incarnate sense where your spirit that has love has expression in the, in the words of, of your mouth and the actions of your body and the actual uh, time and work that is, that is expended in your day. And so uh, what, what living product is, is, is coming forth in your life? Is it, where, where is its source? In the root, uh, the living root of love. So this is Paul's picture of, of what the Christian life should look like. And he, and he doesn't say, well, it'd be nice if some of us did this, or um, it'd be great, I've just, you know, the, you know, might want to consider being rooted and grounded in love. He's praying for the people in Ephesus that they be rooted and grounded in love. And this rooting and grounding in love, uh, Paul would say, is, the, is one of the first things we're looking for. Have Christ in your heart and express that relationship in love. Many other things a person could talk about, but he brings that first when he talks about prayer. So be blessed today and be rooted and grounded in love.